there is an ashram on the banks of prayag this is the ashram of maharshi bharadwaj in the ashram of maharshi bharadwaj during the mela mahatmas used to come from different places for one month to stay satsang used to take place and after a month or so they would all depart to their places so in this year after the kumbh mela when all the mahatmas had departed only the great rishi yagya valkya was remaining so maharshi bharadwaj approached him he offered his pranam and he said maharaj i have a question i feel exceedingly embarrassed to ask so it is difficult to ask but if i keep the doubt in myself that is also difficult so picking up great courage i am placing this question before you there is one ram who is known as the father of the universe who is the creator who is all pervading and we all respect him and there is another ram who is avadhesh kumar are these two rams the same and if this avadhesh kumar is the same father of the universe how did he become the son of dashrath if he is all powerful how come he was born from the womb of mother kaushalya how come he went to the guru's ashram to study how come ravan was able to take his wife sita away how come he needed the help of vibhishan to kill ravan maharaj these questions are troubling me very much if you will be kind and merciful on me please explain this ram tatva when bharadwaj asked this question yagya valkya rishi smiled he said bharadwaj this question was asked thousands of years ago by mother parvati to lord shiv are parvati as shiv how did this happen maharaj so yagya valkya rishi now tells the katha once shiv ji told parvati let us go and hear ram katha they came from kalash they came to the ashram of agastya rishi so when they reached there agastya rishi saw kalash pati coming he was delighted he offered puja to shiv and to parvati so parvati at that time she was by the name of sati so sati when she saw this she was astonished we are coming to hear katha from this mahatma and he is doing our puja shiv ji was impressed he is so simple but sati used her buddhi what kind of mahatma is this now when they sat to hear the katha shiv ji was drinking the katha ras with his ears but sati was hearing carelessly what will he tell us when he is doing our puja she did not pay attention the katha went on for few days after the katha got over shankar ji said thank you so much you have delighted us with the bliss of the leelas of lord ram because lord shiv 
although he is God himself, in his divine leelas, he looks on Ram as his Ishtadev. So with great relish, he described devotion to Lord Ram, to Agastya Rishi. And having described that, they both took leave from the ashram. So Shiv and Sati, they were moving in the forest of Dandakaranya. Dandakaranya is a very special forest. Now at that time, Treta Yuga was going on and the avatar of Ram had taken place. And after having spent their time in Chitrakut and then in Panchavati, when Sita Haran had happened, then Ram and Lakshman were going from there searching for Sita. Ram was in deep longing of Sita. Where has Sita gone? Where has she gone? In that longing, he was doing such a leela that would confuse anybody. He is going asking trees, Have you seen my Sita? He Khaga Mriga He Madhukar Shreni Tum Dekhi Sita Mriga Naini Lachi Man Samujhaye Bahu Bhanti Poochat Chale Lata Taru Panti He's asking, O oh, trees, O oh, flowers, O oh, creepers, O oh, boulders, O oh, hills, have you seen my Sita? And longing for Sita, Ram went into Samadhi. Such a Samadhi, he forgot who is he and who is Lakshman along with him. Lakshman says, Maharaj, you are Arya. Arya? Raghav. Oh, I'm Ram. K-U-A, who are you? Uh, Maharaj, I am Das Osmite Lakshmana, your servant Lakshman. Acha, 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 now I am recollecting. I am Ram and you are Lakshman. Kantare kimi hasmahe batasakhe. What are we doing in this forest? So Lakshman ji said, Maharaj, Devya Gatir Mrigyate, we are searching for Devi. Devi? What Devi? Janaka Dhiraj Tanaya, Janaka Nandini Sita ji. Janaki ha, Janaki quasi ha. Now remembering Sita, he fainted out there. And then he came back to consciousness. So Shiv and Sati were going from there. Seeing his Prabhu Ram there, Shiv was delighted. Now Shivji knows that he is doing a Leela. Sati, on seeing Shiv do Pranam, said, Maharaj, why did you do Pranam to this man? He doesn't even know where his wife has gone. Shiv said, Are Sati, don't say that. We just heard the Ram Katha. That Ram about whom Agastya Rishi, Kumbhak Rishi told us, this is the same Ram. Sati was not convinced. So Shivji thought, Hoi hai soi, jo Ram rachi rakha, ko kari tark badha vahi sakha. It seems like my Prabhu Ram wants to do a leela. It is all in his hands. What can I do? So he said, Sati, be careful. Saying that, he went and sat down. Ab jo hoga, so hoga. Sati started thinking. Shankaru Jagata Vandya Jagadisa Sur Nar Muni Sabhanavata Sisa Tinha nripa sutahi ki dha paranama kahi satchidananda paradhama. Shankar is Jagadish. The whole world, all the Rishis, Munis respect him. And Jagadish has done pranam to this Ram. 
एंड सेड ही सचिदानंद पर ब्रह्म नो 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 दिस के नॉट बी सो सती सेड लेट मी टेस्ट हिम आउट इफ ही इज गॉड आई विल कम टू नो she using her shakti took on the form of sita and sat down in front if he is god he will come to know if he is not god he will say ha sita we were looking for you you are sitting here a great practical joke will happen lakshman will say bhabhi ji you were here we were looking elsewhere so when sati in the form of sita sat down there lord ram who was crying ah sita ah sita now he sees sati in the form of sita so ram is the lord externally he may do any leela internally he is sarvagya so seeing a sati there he suddenly became serious now how to address her what to say he cannot say sita or something so he said ma you are sitting here where is my father you see ram worships shiv in his leela shiv is his ishd dev so sati the ardhangini of shiv is his mother so he says mother you are here where is my father then ram recognized sati in this manner sati ran from there without responding she ran to shiv so shiv ji understood what has happened he said sati did you take a test of my shiv sati said test no no maharaj absolutely not kachu na pariksha leen ha gosai keen ha par naam tumhari hi nai just like you did pranam same way true copy i also did pranam she told a white lie to shiv so shiv ji understood शिव जी सेड भाई मामला सीरियस हो गया सती माई वाइफ हैज टेकन द फॉर्म ऑफ सीता सीता इज माई मदर वेन शिव वर्शिप्स राम देन सीता इज हिज मदर सो शी इज टेकन द फॉर्म ऑफ माई मदर हाउ विल आई एक्सेप्ट हर एज अ वाइफ सो ही स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग ऑफ Sati realized कुछ गड़बड़ हो गई सो शी स्टार्टेड अ कंपनिंग हर हजबेंड वेन दे रीस्ट कैलाश शिव जी ही सेट सिट डाउन इन फ्रंट तुलसीदास जी नाव इज नो लॉन्गर रेफरिंग टू हर एज द वाइफ ऑफ शिव ही इज रेफरिंग टू हर एज दक्ष कुमारी सो शिव एंड सती दे वेंट एंड सेट डाउन Shiv ji made Sati sit in front and he went into samadhi. He stayed in samadhi for 77000 years. After that he opened his eyes and he saw that Sati has become disturbed. Sati realized that my husband has rejected me as wife. So to pacify her Shiv ji started relating Ram katha At that time an instance occurred You know there was the yagya going on in the house of Daksh Sati asked what's going on Finally on her insistence she went there and there she found that her husband Shiv had been insulted there was no uh, ahuti being offered to Shiv so sati became so annoyed there that her father daksh's house she rejected her body that sati was then later on born as the daughter of himalay 
So uh, she came as Girija, the daughter of Himalay and Maina. When she became a little child, parents are eager to know the destiny of their children. So Narad ji happened to come there. Himavan asked Narad ji, Maharaj, can you look at my daughter's hand and tell me her destiny ahead? Narad ji looked at the hand of Sati, of now she has come as Parvati. And he said, your daughter is blessed. She shall be exceedingly famous. Temples will be made around for her. Women shall look on her as the epitome of purity. But there is one very bad line in her hand. Her husband is going to be a Baba. He will be putting ashes on his body. He will be having no possessions. He will be residing in the graveyards. On hearing this, mother and father were terrified. Our daughter will get such a husband. Parvati understood that only Shiv can be such a person. So Parvati is hearing with great joy. Narad said that, you know, this line can be cut with the help of austerities. Such a person can be Shiv as well. Your daughter could be married to Shiv. Ask her to go and do austerities. So Narad became the guru of Parvati. And the mother and father agreed. Parvati ji went into the Himalayas and she performed austerities as Narad had said, wearing white clothes. First she was eating only the leaves, then she gave up those leaves as well. So while Parvati was performing these austerities, Tulsi Das Ji now takes us back to Shiv. When Sati had rejected her body, Shiv in complete detachment was roaming around as a Baba. And finally he came back to Kailash and sat down when Lord Ram came. So, Shiv was of course pleased to see, have darshan of his Ishtadev. Ram said, Everybody asks you for a boon. I am also going to ask you for a boon. Shivji said, Prabhu, your wish is my command. What do you want? Ram said, Sati used her intellect in my Leelas, as a result of which you rejected her. She burnt her body in the Yajna of Daksh and she has come back as the daughter of Himalay. She is performing tapasya to attain you. When the proposal is given to you, please accept and marry her. Shiv said, if that is your wish, I will fulfill it. So now, on Shiv's instructions, the nine rishis, the nine yogishwars, they went to test Parvati. So they saw Parvati performing austerities, a young lady. They said that, you know, for a young lady to be in this isolated place, so cold, so austere, what are you doing? Parvati said, I am embarrassed to say you people will laugh. No, no, tell us. She said, I am performing austerities to get Shiv as my husband. So the nine Yogeshwars, they tried to test her. They said, but don't you know that Shiv, he's a Baba, he applies Bhasma on his body and he wears a Mrig charm. He doesn't have any property, any wealth. Those Bhut, Pret, ghosts and spirits are his associates. Why don't you try and get Vishnu as your husband? Vishnu is the abode of all good qualities. When they tempted Parvati like this, Parvati made an amazing statement. Look, Shiv may be 
the abode of all defects and Vishnu may be the treasure chest of all good qualities. If I have loved on the basis of qualities, then I am still selfish. That is worldly love. My love is selfless. I will either marry Shiv or I will remain Kumari for ages and ages. That is my final verdict. So the nine Yogeshwars were very pleased. They went and told this to Lord Shiv. Now Lord Shiv, when he heard this, he was delighted. He again closed his eyes and went off into Samadhi. At that time, there was a Rakshas called Tadakasur who was oppressing the Devatas a lot. And they were unable to kill this powerful Tadakasur. So Brahma ji said, if there is a child born to Shiv and Parvati, that child alone can kill this Tadakasur. So Shiv and Parvati need to get married. But Shivji is in Samadhi. What to do? So they commissioned Kamdev. They commissioned the god of Cupid and said, you go and you break Shivji's Samadhi. He took an arrow and he shot it at Lord Shiv. When that arrow hit Lord Shiv, he opened his eyes. So he saw Kamdev, he became annoyed. He opened his third eye and he burned Kamdev to ashes right there. Everything became Neeras dry. The wife of Kamdev, Rati, she started crying. Shivji felt pity at Rati. So he said, all right, your husband Kamdev will now be Anang. He will be without a body, but he will exist. So the Devatas, they came along with Brahma to Shiv. They requested Maharaj. They said, nobody is interested in marriage any longer. Please, you have to create some ras in this world. You have to get married to Parvati. Shiv agreed. So the consent was given. The news was sent. Narajji, he went and he informed Parvati that you can now go home. Parvati went home. The preparations started getting made. Himavan and Maina, they were delighted that our daughter is going to get married. So here, the Bharat was being prepared. All the Devatas came. When Shiv is going to get married, it's a big, big event. So Indra, Varun, Kuber, Agni, all of them came. But they were all decorating themselves. Nobody is concerned in decorating the dulha. So Shringi Rishi, he said, all right, never mind. He called all the Shiv Dutes, the Rudragan. So all the Bhut Pret from the various Shamshans, he called them over. Come on, decorate your master. So somebody is hanging scorpions from the ears and somebody is putting the snake around the neck. Such decorations as have never been done in the world. Now Shivji is starting off on Nandi. So now the residents of Himachal, they saw the Bharatis so attractive, so well dressed. Vishnuji was right in front. They said, are you the Dulha Raja? He said, no, I am the Bharati. They said, look, if the Bharati is so handsome, how will the Dulha be? We are very eager to see him. Vishnu said, after seeing him, whether you will live or not, that is the question. So finally, when Shivji entered, now his Bharat, somebody has a mouth out here, somebody has got one eye, somebody is very fat, somebody is very thin. These kinds, they are all walking. So moment the Bharat entered, all the Himachal Vasis, they ran out of the town. Now they went to the Viva Mandap that had been readied and Maina Devi was called, please come and do the Aarti. And Parvati was also called. So Maina Devi took the Aarti plate to do Aarti of the Damath 
and when she saw shiv ji the aarti thali fell out of her plate and she fainted what is this so she started cursing narad that what kind of marriage have you arranged they all tried to convince her that come on don't you know him she said under no conditions will i marry my daughter to such a dulha so narad ji had to be called narad ji convinced that what are you doing don't you recognize he is jagadish and your daughter is his eternal ardhangini she has been born again as your daughter she is his eternal associate so finally maina devi was convinced and the marriage took place so shiv and parvati they reached kailash on reaching kailash they are husband and wife they did their nitya vihar for a long long time many years went by and finally one day parvati finding shiv in a very happy mood she sat in front of him today shiv is not nagna he is wearing the clothes because he has to say the ram katha so she said maharaj in my last avatar i had made a mistake i took the form of sita and tested ram and then you rejected me and i have come back again but the doubt still remains in my mind that if ram is god then how come he did not know where sita is god is anandmay how come he was crying for sita please explain this to me and also i wish to know his balya leela past times if you will be kind enough you please explain to me how he got married i would like to hear that prasang how he went into the forest what was the episode that took place in lanka and how did he finally become the king of ayodhya so shiv ji he was delighted when parvati asked this question all the ram katha prasang came to his mind and with great relish he says ram kripa te parvati sapne hu tav man mahi shok moh sandeh bhram mam vichar kachu nahi mam vichar kachu nahi he says parvati you never had any doubt you did a whole acting why to clear the doubt in the minds of the people people have this doubt so you created the doubt so that you show if you do shanka and the leelas of ram you can never do bhakti nevertheless to help others you ask the question i will answer your question and then i will tell you the ram leela so shiv ji is now from his mouth going to relate the ram katha he will first do the shanka samadhan clear the doubt in parvati's mind with tatva gyan and then we will relish the divine nectar of lord ram's past times siya var ram chandra ki umapati mahadev ki celebrate the biggest diwali festival dfw diwali mela 2023 one combined event of the year for the greater dfw community enjoy ram leela ravan dahan victory parade fireworks cultural performances kids carnival laser show and more shopping expo food booths and live concert by bollywood singers including the one and only amit mishra jyotika tangri yasin nizar along with the high octaves band and a special diwali message 
by Swami Mukundanand ji. Save the day. Saturday, November 4th from 5 p.m. onwards at the Cotton Bowl Stadium. For tickets, visit radhakrishnatemple.net. Come one, come all to the DFW Diwali Mela 2023.